Hello and welcome back to a new video on our Fortify Unplugged channel. My name is Jan, I'm a security presets consultant at OpenText and in this video we are going to explore the integration of the Brick into the Fortify Software Security Center or in short SSC. So we will start by understanding who the Brick actually is, where we get into the benefits of the integration followed by a hands-on walkthrough of the installation process. And I'm also going to show you how you can effectively import the brick results into the SSC. And at the end, I have some tips and tricks for you. But before we start, don't forget to use the YouTube timestamp for an easy navigation. And if you enjoy this content and looking forward to more, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. But now let's get started. First of all, who is the brick? Like Fortify, Debrict is also part of OpenText and is basically a cloud-based software composition analysis solution. So in short, SCA. And Debrict is fundamentally divided into three areas. So the first area focusing on detecting security vulnerabilities in used open source dependencies and simplifying their remediation. The second part is all about license and compliance. So meaning identifying which open source licenses are being used and recognized the resulting risk. And this also includes, of course, the creation of a software build of materials, in short, SBOM. And the third area, the community health, the brick looks behind the open source communities and provide metrics with which one you can better understand the communities behind the open source projects and thereby make informed decisions. But yeah, this is just a high level overview about the brick. If you want to learn more about the brick, we also have another video here on our YouTube channel. I will link this down below in the description. So please have a look at that as well. But what are now the benefits of integrating the brick into the software security center from Fortify? The first advantage is quite simple. We have a unified dashboard because Fortify originally comes from the static code analysis side as well as the dynamic analysis. And with the addition of the brick to open text, we are also now able to offer the software composition analysis completely in-house. And by integrating the brick data into the Fortify Software Security Center, we now have a unified dashboard for all three areas. So that means uh, the static code analysis, the dynamic one, and SCA, so software composition analysis. The second advantage is the SBOM, so software bill of material, download directly in the software security center. So this means you don't have to leave the software security center, so your familiar interface, and can just download the SBOMs directly in the applications view. And the third point is that this is just the beginning of the integration. So that means with the addition of the brick to the OpenText family or the Fortify family, we now have much more capabilities or things that we can do. And I'm really, really pleased to see if you have any ideas, any things that might be interesting for the future, um, any enhancement requests, please let us know. Just drop a YouTube comment or open up an official enhancement request in our support portal. But now, Let's move on to the installation part. In my test environment here, or in my demo environment, I'm using the Fortify Software Security Center version 23.2, but it is also fine to use uh, the SSC version 22.2 or above. So this is also working with the integration. But how do we actually integrate data from the brick in Fortify now? This is pretty easy because the only thing that we need to do here is to upload a parser. I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but um, whenever you want to integrate non-Fortify data into the Fortify Software Security Center, you can do this by parser. And we ship some parsers out of the box, like the one from Debrict. But if there are um, integrations that you would like to see, but there are no parsers out there, you can also create these parsers by your own just uh, that you know that uh, I think this might be might be helpful for the future. But let's concentrate uh, on the Debrick integration now because uh, yeah, what we need to do now is go to the Software Security Center, to Administration, Plugins, Parser Plugins, and then we create, uh, click on New, uh, read the warning, click on OK, and then it asks for a JAR file. 
And where do we get this jar file? This is pretty easy because uh, we have a GitHub repository for that, which I will also link in the description of this video that you can directly click on that as well. And I highly recommend to have a look at um, the documentation if you want to deep dive a little bit more into that. But what we need now is the jar file. And where do we get this? This is under releases. And there we have basically um, different assets here. The one that is important to us now, because we are using the Software Security Center 23.2, um, is this one here. So as you can see, uh, this is the Fortify SSC 23.2 plus parser to break Cyclone DX um, plugin. And if we download this and extract uh, the zip file, we can see that we uh, get um, a couple of things here. First of all, we get jar file and also some sample data that you can use to play around. Um, but we will come to this in, in a minute. So the first thing that we need to do now is uh, click here on Browse go to the uh, directory where you unzip the file and select the jar file and click on start upload. Just as a reminder, please have a look at uh, the version here because this is really important um, for uh, the, the integration. Um, yeah, just to mention that as well. And after that, we can see it was successfully uploaded. We can see this is the, the brick parser plugin and by default, it is disabled. So the only thing that we now need to do is click enable, read the warning, of course, and click OK. And after that, we're ready to go, basically. So that was the whole installation of the plugin. But now, of course, the, the most important step, how do we get the data from the Bricked into the Fortify Software Security Center? And basically, we have two ways of doing it. The first one, is the manual way and the second one is the automated way and I want to show you both. Let's start with the manual way. Um, for that we need to go to our applications. Uh, let's choose this one because this is a completely empty application and what we basically can do now go here to artifacts and we can upload an artifact. The important thing here is now how do we get this artifact or how do we need to create this? And for that, let's get into our data again. So uh, here in the sample data, we already have uh, an example for the um, for the right format, how to uh, upload it to the software security center. But let me show you that by uh, another example. So I created an S1 file for uh, my test project here in the Bricked. Uh, how you do that is pretty easy. You just go to your uh, repositories from where you can uh, click on the one where you want to create an SBOM for, click here on generate report and click here on SBOM. For that you need a Debricked Enterprise account. This is uh, really important to notice. And if you click here on generate, it will generate an SBOM and send it to you by email. So this is uh, what I already did. So after that, you get this um, SBOM file, which is uh, Cyclone DX SBOM in a JSON format. And now we can use this to import it into our software security center. And uh, one thing that we need to do now, or the, the one thing that we need to add now, is a scan.info file. This info file, or this file in general, is important to understand for the software security center what kind of data you try to upload. And if we have a look at the scan.info file, you can see it only contains one line of code. And this is telling the engine type is debricked. And this is important uh, as you will see uh, in a minute. Um, but this is really the only thing that we need uh, to do here. And after that, we can get the two files, right click, compress it, and let's say it is manual import.zip. And now we can go to our software security center, click here on artifact, add files, and let's get into the directory, manual import.zip, and then we can start the upload, and the upload was successfully. So as we can see, this was complete, 
And um, as we now see where this um, engine type come into. So uh, here's the engine type, the brick, and you can see the same here as well now. And now after that, you get, uh, you're get you able to get all the benefits of the integration. So first of all, if you click here on audit, you will get all the information about the scan from the brick, um, including in the SBOM. And if you click here on the findings, you can also see the issue details, component details, an overview and of course the re um, recommendations what we recommend in this case and uh, this is the first thing that you get the other thing is um, you also get this open source tab here and inside of this open source tab you get a nice overview about all components um, that you used in the application uh, as well as the uh, related uh, vulnerabilities and also some more information like what kind of packet manager it is behind it and also the open source license, which is uh, pretty handy. And as you can see here, we can also download the SBOM directly from here again. So just click on here and it will automatically download the right SBOM for us again, which is, uh, yeah, pretty nice. And this is uh, basically how you do that in a manual way. If you want to uh, automate this, you can do this rather than rather than by using the API from the Software Security Center and uh, the Debrick API, of course. But uh, you don't even have to uh, create your own scripts for that because we already um, uh, we already offer a way of doing it with FCLI. I'm not sure if you know FCLI, but FCLI is basically um, a command line tool that is uh, un or it's a unified command line tool for Fortify. I already created uh, a video about that or a couple of videos on our channel as well. So please have a look at these to get familiar with FCLI because this is a really powerful and uh, nice tool. And we uh, use FCLI now to automate the whole process of integrating um, the SBOMs or the, the brick data into the Fortify Software Security Center. So for that, let me open up my command line and I installed FCLI and put it on my path here. As you can see, it is uh, already working fine. And the first thing that we need to do uh, or the, the, the first uh, concept that you need to understand is that the, the Fortify command line um, is based on sessions that you don't have to log in every time, provide every time your token, whatever. And this is the first thing that we need to do. So we need to uh, log in into um, the component of the Software Security Center and where we uh, just provide our URL, the username and the password. So I just uh, don't put the password in here um, because I don't want to show it, but uh, you can also put the password in there as well. And after that, we create, uh, create a session of the Software Security Center. As you can see, this is created and now we can work with this session. And basically how FCLI is working, um, it is split up in these different components like SSC. And the component that we use now is uh, FCLI uh, SSC, where we have the artifact uh, component and where we have to import the brick. Oh, sorry. Import the brick command. And if you type in minus, uh, minus H, you can also see what uh, commands are possible here, what you can also include. So this is also really, really helpful. Um, but to show you one example with what is working, let me copy paste this to here, is this one here. So basically what we do here is to uh, import a debrick artifact into the software security center. And the things that we now need to define are first of all, uh, a token. So minus T is token. This is the debrick token. Um, you can get this really easily. You just have to go to the admin tools here and from there to the account settings and where you can create a new token and then you have to put in the token in here. This is uh, the minus T. 
The next thing is the minus minus uh, AV. This stands for application and application version. Uh, this is basically a mapping to our software security center. So if we have a look here, as you can see here, under applications, we have Marathon version 1.0. And uh, this is where this comes from. So this is just a mapping from to the SSC application and application version. And the next thing is our repository. This is um, um, a Debrick thing. So if you have a look at uh, your Debrick uh, interface, you can see here under repository, we can see exactly the name that I put in here um, because yeah, we need to find uh, the right repository and basically map it to the SSC repository. And uh, the only thing that is also necessary um, is the branch. So I'm uh, in the master branch, but uh, yeah, this is just an example to show you uh, what you need to type in, at least that it is working. And if we integrate, uh, if we execute this, we can see it will uh, automatically generating and download VS bomb from the Bricked and now uploading this automatically to the software security center. So with that, uh, we can now go back to our artifacts and we can see this one here was generated by FCLI. So as you can see here, it's the same uh, as the um, integration before. And um, because we already saw the integration, there's no new data, but uh, it's actually, yeah, how it is working in an automated way. Okay, yeah, that's basically the whole integration, how you can integrate it. But uh, I also have some tips and tricks that I want to show you. The first uh, tip is actually the format of the scan.info file, which is really important. So as you saw here uh, in our um, completely manual example, we have to have this scan.info file. So you just can create this by uh, doing it the, the old fashioned way here. Um, but the only thing that is important here, that this needs to be an ASCII formatted file. And to check that, uh, I can show that to you using uh, Ubuntu, which I have running here and uh, on a subsys as a subsystem on Windows. There are a couple of other ways to check the format, but this is the, the most easiest one. So I'm already in the right um, directory. And the only thing that I need to type in is the command file and then the, the name of the file. And there we can see that this is an ASCII text. So please make sure that this is an ASCII text file. Um, you can also try this out using the sample data here because here's a scan.info file which is correctly formatted for you. So uh, yeah, this is really, really important. The other important tip is whenever you want to uh, start uh, manually zipping files and upload it to the software security center, it is really, really important that you only zip these two files, only the sbom and the scan.info file. Please don't zip any directories uh, whatsoever. This will not work. You only have to um, include these and zip this. Uh, so whenever I unzip the file, uh, the unzip the, the zip file, I will just get these two files. This is really important. And that's how you integrate the Bricked into the Fortify Software Security Center. So I hope this guide was helpful or this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or need further clarification, don't hesitate to drop a comment. And also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to don't miss any future video. And with that, I would say thank you very much for watching and we see you in the next video.